In this video, we're going to find the BSA using the BSA formula. BSA is a body surface area of a child or an adult. So we have two types of BSA. We have one using metrics, it's where we have the centimeter, the height in centimeters and weight in kilograms. And then we have the household, which is the height in inches and the weight in pounds. You notice the only difference in the two formulas is that the household is divided by 3131 and the metrics is divided by 3600. So depending on what you're looking for, what you're given is the one you're going to use. So in this first example, we have to calculate the BSA of an infant whose length is 50 centimeters and whose weight is 3.2 kilograms. So I'm, since I'm in centimeters and kilograms, I'm going to use the BSA for the metrics. So it's always in meters squared. And I'm going to put in 50 times 3.2 divide that by 3600. It doesn't look like it, but this is all supposed to be under the square root. So 50 times 3.2, let me calculate it out, and I get 160, divide that by 3600, we're still under the square root, so 160 divided by 3600, and I get the square root of 0 0.044. For, for repeating. And I'm going to round it to four decimal places. Then I'm going to take the square root of it. And then I get my BSA is 0 0.2107. And we're going to round the BSA to two decimal places. So it's 0 0.21 meters squared. And so most of this you can do in your calculator. So the next example, I have a child's weight of 42 inches and his height is 70 pounds. So I'm going to use the BSA formula for the household. So I'm going to take my 42 inches, multiply it times my weight of 70 pounds, and divide it by 31, 31. So I'm going to do 42 by 70. I get 29.40. Again, dividing that by 31.31. And I get the square root of 0 0.93899. So if I wanted to round that to four places, this nine is going to make that nine a ten. So I'm going to get zero point nine three nine zero. So if I take the square root of point nine three nine zero, I get zero point nine six nine zero. And again, I'm going to round that to two decimal places, which makes it zero point nine seven meter squared. So the last one we're going to look at, which is calculating the BSA. This patient has a height of 5 feet 9 inches, 1 tick mark means feet, 2 tick mark means inches, and he has a weight of 86 kilograms. So I've got a mixture of inches and kilograms, so household and metric, so I have to convert them both. First thing I need to do is convert my 5 feet 9 inches to inches. So 5 feet 9 inches, 2 inches. So to convert the 5 feet, I'm going to multiply it by 12 inches over 1 foot, which gives me 60 inches. Now, since I already have 9 inches, I'm going to add that 9 inches to it, so I have a height 
of 69 inches. Now I can either calculate or change this to centimeters or change the 88.6 kilograms to pounds. And in class they wanted me to convert the 88.6 kilograms to pounds. So it's 2.2 pounds over one kilogram. So 88.6 times 2.2, I get 194.92, so I'm going to round that to 195 pounds. So now I have inches and I have pounds, and I'm going to use the household. So I've got 69 times 70, no, not 70, sorry. 69 times 195 over 3131. So 69 times 195 gives me 13,455. Divide that by 3131. And I'm going to get the square root of 4.2973. When I take the square root of that, I'm going to get 2.07 meters squared. So I didn't take all the steps because you can do a lot of that on your calculator. You don't have to show every single step. Okay, so that's finding the BSA.